be a little sussies. Hello guys, so today's video is gonna be a tour of my garden. Disclaimer, I know nothing about gardening. Every step of the way I'm learning, when things die, I'm like, oh wait, I did that wrong. Ever since I was little, oh my God, what is that? The squirrel? Oh, squirrel! I'm under attack here in the backyard, by the way, just in case you guys haven't been watching my IG stories. Ever since I was little, I remember we moved into this home and it didn't have like the biggest backyard, it just had a little bit of grass. And I was in second grade and I decided I wanted to plant seeds and start a little garden. So I planted all these strawberries and all this stuff. And the minute it started showing like some growth, my mom told me we had to move. And it was the saddest day of my life. And ever since then, I wanted to have a garden. My mom has known this, everyone has known this. I've always wanted to have a garden. Now that we have our very own home, which I'm so excited and grateful for, I have a garden and it's honestly like the thing that makes me so happy in this world. Just seeing all the growth makes me so excited and I show you guys daily updates on IG stories and on Snapchat and you guys really like it and you asked me to do a garden tour. Today, that's what I'm gonna be doing. I know you guys want a house tour as well. I know. I promise you I will have a house tour soon. This is like a baby segment leading into that. We are gonna go ahead and check out the garden. I'm gonna show you everything. The reason I decided to film this today is because I actually bought some cilantro and I'm gonna film us putting it in today. We also bought new flowers the other day, which I'm excited about. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys what I got going on, okay? Follow me the path of success. I feel like DJ Khaled with all these uh, garden posts. When we first moved into this home, I envisioned something magical happening on this. And I've always wanted the climber plants that wrap around the whole structure. And then once we do that, I wanna put like twinkling lights here so that at night, if we have dinner out here, it's gonna be magical. It's like everything I ever wanted. I'm there comes Steven. The, uh, the garden video. Oh yeah, there comes Steven with you all the stuff. Fertilizer? Yeah, sure did. Look, I just got these like two days ago. They're already dying. I think they need water and it's like a lot of sun on them right now, but mostly I think we need to water them. And a lot of you guys ask me about this table set. This is actually from Costco. I love this table. I feel like it's so pretty. I hate the chairs, but I got chair coverings for some of them just to see what it looked like, and I think it looks a lot nicer and brighter. All right, so let's start the tour. First thing we have here is a lime tree. Now, the fruit trees that are in our yard were here when we bought the house. I'm really happy about that. In this neighborhood, there is a lot of fruit trees. My neighbors have lemon trees, orange trees. I'm so happy that they picked limes because being Mexican, like I'll take limes over lemons any day. I feel like I just use limes for everything. Look, this is pretty big. When I first started showing you guys on Instagram, these were so tiny, and now they're starting to actually turn into lime. So every day when you garden is exciting because overnight something can just blossom and it's so amazing. I look forward every day to coming outside and seeing how big things are getting, how things are growing. The next tree we have here, this is a peach tree. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, then you will know that I had maybe about five peaches that were like this big on this tree, but they were stolen in the night, okay? Either it was a squirrel or a bird. I don't know what stole my peaches, but it's really sad because I was so excited watching them grow and they're not gonna blossom again until next year. So that's it for my peach tree. It's just gonna be here for the time being. So right here we have our apple tree. This is probably the most fruitful of all of our trees. It has so many apples all over. Everywhere I look on every branch, there's a bunch of apples. And it just makes me so happy to see all of the fruit doing so well on this tree. Look at those little apples coming in right there. Look, every branch you look on there is more apples. Love this tree, it's so pretty. This has been so therapeutic for me. Even if you don't have a backyard, if you have like a balcony and it gets good sun, you could just put um, like a little thing for herbs out there and just watching things grow and every day checking up on it, it just like has changed my like, it relaxes me, I feel less stressed, I feel so happy every day watching all of this growth, so I'm so happy to be sharing it with you guys. So they told us this was a peach tree, so I'm not sure if it's a different type of peach or what. What is it? I don't know. What does it look like? It's furry and nothing. I don't know. I'm gonna just let it's it a furry go. nub. If anybody knows, put it in the comments down below, okay? Because I'm trying to figure out. All right, so everything in here we planted moving in. When we first moved in, they had 
like tomato wild mess. tomato. It was like a mess. So we took everything out. Steven's mom, she loves to garden, so she's been helping me garden, and she helped me plant all of these things because um, obviously I don't know what I'm doing. This is my first time. So these two came with the house. They were already built here. They have a built-in sprinkler system, so it releases water all the way down into the bottom of the soil, which is nice. Let me give you a tour. We have some radishes. Oh my God, look, it's a baby radish. It's so tiny. Look, you can really see them here. And they come in different shapes sizes like they're so good we've already had a few so we have those along the sides of the box this one looks like it's getting pretty massive so I feel like this one's kind of done so we could try to pull this one out oh they're kind of hard to get out to they're rooted in there boom look at that beautiful radish we use these for avocado toast so then right here we have our jalapeno plant. My pride and joy. Steven loves the jalapeno plant. He's so excited. I mean, they're looking really, really good right now. Look at that. I prune this guy, so Steven, grow. Steven and I YouTubed how to prune your plant because we had no idea and our stuff was looking extra bushy. So pruning is basically when you trim the arm, they like they call them the armpits of the vines and the, the stems so that it's not stealing nutrients from the main stems. And correct me if I'm wrong, because I'm not an expert. This is like, I just learned this. So they don't take nutrients from the stems that are actually bearing the most fruit. Um, because if you let it grow wild, then the whole plant is pushing nutrients through the other stems that aren't really gonna bear that much fruit or vegetable. I hope I explained that correctly. We also put in these sticks. Everyone was telling us on Instagram to put in these sticks. Steven also YouTubed. Tomato vines like to climb up. This is like a jute twine and he tied the vines up very, very loosely. So they can still grow through, but they grow upwards. These are our cherry tomatoes. I love cherry tomatoes. I eat them like crazy. Over here, we have a stevia plant. So stevia is like a sugar. It's a natural sugar. It's nice when you're in the garden to just pull it off and then eat it. How does it taste? Sweet. It's, it's crazy. Sweet. It, it tastes, tastes like sugar. Tastes like sugar. I think it's being invaded by bugs right now. We haven't used pesticides or anything in our garden because I wanted to avoid it and just see what happens but I think this one is, it needs a little bit of help. Over here we have some thyme. Um, this was actually already here, so we kind of just left it here. I just cut it back, but I use this like every night when we cook steak. Yeah, Steven it's uses it favorite. when he cooks with steak. It smells, smells amazing. So good. Smell it. it. Smells good. Here we have onions. We actually just cut these back because they grew out a little bit too far. More radishes along this area. We're about to plant some cilantro. I think we're gonna do it right over here. Here is our tomato plant. So these are just normal sized tomatoes and this one is doing really, really well. It actually had some type of fungus for a minute there, huh? Yeah, because it was all laying on the ground so it got overwatered, and then the water wasn't drying enough so it did the fungus, but now once we hung it up and then we trimmed it back, now it has a little bit more airflow. It had little black dots all over the leaves. The tomatoes were fine, but the leaves looked crazy and now they're all healthy again for the most part, so. We have nursed it back to health. It's doing pretty good. So over here, this is our cucumber. I recently just picked a lot of the cucumbers because I felt like they were ready. I had the most massive cucumber and it tasted incredible. There's one, there's a little baby. Here's the tag for the cucumber. Look at that, oh, that one's looking pretty good. So many cucumbers already. And this is crazy because when we left out of town, there was nothing. And then we came back, we had the most massive cucumber. Did you find another one? Oh, wow. And we're probably going to vine this up as well, like we yeah. did with the tomatoes, just so that we have a little bit more room in this box. This is our bell pepper plant. And look at this bell pepper. It's getting bigger and bigger every day. There's only two, but, and we have zucchini squash, but nothing's, nothing's really happening over here in our zucchini squash. This, this side is a little bit more of the struggle side because there's supposed to be radishes here too, but nothing has really grown. I mean, I see something coming up right here, but it, this this side is so in the sun that I think it's just too much sun. I know people have tents that they put over it so they don't get as much sun. This one being a little bit more in the shade, it thrives and it gets sun only a certain part of the day, which is nice, but this one is constant sun. Down here we have little sugar peas. How cute are they? Look at them. These also need to be vined up. I'm just waiting for the bunnies to find them. They'll probably eat them all once they figure out they're here. 
You guys, we've been invaded by bunnies, okay? They are everywhere. Bunnies, lizards. Oh, look at this cucumber. It's hanging off over here. They're so prickly. I never realized how spiky they are. This is the soil we will be using for our gardening today. Coming in hot. So what did you pick here, honey? We, we have, have what? We have some cilantro. Cilantro? Just because we want to, uh, I want to be able to make salsa. We need it for our everything. So we need it for everything. For pico, salsa, cooking. It's a must. And then I found this. It's an oregano. But, but it's, it's spicy, spicy and it's super spicy. super spicy. Like I, I had one bite of it and it was a I'm lot. Like pasta sauce, maybe. I have the garden soil. This is what we're gonna use in the box that we're gonna mix into the top soil for the cilantro and the oregano. And I have this potting mix, and that's gonna be used for the flowers that Desi just showed you when we pop those plants. Ooh, that soil looks so much nicer. Mix these two together. We're probably showing people how not to garden. How not to garden. This is our first garden, guys, so. This is oh. not a how-to. This is just what we're doing, okay? Just to make that very clear. Disclaimer. Look at the pups. They're so cute. I've never actually depotted one of these before, so. We don't know what we're doing, basically. I have no idea how to do this. Keep that, because you're going to put it out there. Boom. So I watched on YouTube. You're supposed to break it up a little bit to let the release the root system. Okay. And you put it in there. Boom. <laughs> the cilantro looks weak. It looks weak in there. And we're gonna go right next to this other one. Meanwhile. <laughs> Stake your claim, Des. Packing it in so it stays up. Cool. Cilantro down. Now where do we put the oregano? Look at you. Growing a little herb garden. Whoa. Did that. Is that it? Planted everything that we had to plant for today. All right, so that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this little garden tour. Like I said, I'm not an expert, so if you guys have any tips for me, uh, leave them in the comments down below or any gardening channels, leave them in the comments below because I want to like get better at this. If you guys like this kind of stuff, I do updates pretty much daily on my Instagram stories because it's just soothing. So if you guys are into that, go ahead and follow me on Instagram and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.